the home. Good time green like the brown. Hi, hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hi, my name's Zoe, please subscribe, please join my little family that I have here on YouTube, it means so so much to me and also check out my social medias as well, they'll all be linked down below. So today's video I'm going to be talking about true crime cases that I want to cover but I won't cover and, and my reasons why behind that. This isn't a disrespect to any YouTubers that have covered these cases. I'll link some YouTubers down below that have covered these cases and they have done a really good job of these cases. It's nothing against them, it's simply because of my own opinions and my own thoughts and I'll get into that later on in the video. As I've just said, I'm talking about cases that I want to cover but I won't be covering on my channel. So the first one on my list is Madeleine McCann. And I think a lot of YouTubers and a lot of true crime YouTubers have this on their list of cases they want to cover but they don't end up covering it. And my reasons behind this are because of how popular the case is. It has been so long since we've had any sort of updates and I think if I'm putting the case out there it would just be a copy of other people's videos in a way because it's so popular and everybody knows the same information. So I just wouldn't be willing to do that. Maybe if there was more information in the future to come to light then I would consider putting a video together and telling her story and also adding the updates in there but until that time I don't think I'll be doing a video covering the Madeleine McCann case. So the next one on my list is Ted Bundy. My name is Ted Bundy. I've never spoken to anybody about this. 30 years after he was executed, notorious serial killer Ted Bundy is having his story retold. Now, the reasons why I've decided not to cover this case is because recently, I'd say in the past six months, there's been so much coverage on this case. We've got such an inside knowledge of this case now, and Netflix have put that out there. A lot of YouTubers have put that information out there as well, and again, with the Madeleine McCann case, it's such a popular case and a lot of people have covered it and I don't want my audience just hearing information they've heard before. I really like to cover cases that are more unknown and not talked about in the media very much to try and get them stories out there because cases like Madeleine McCann and Ted Bundy, they do it for themselves. They're already out there, a lot of people know the information so when solving the case, even though one of them is already solved, when solving the case it's easier because the public knows that information. For example, if you were to check out my Angela Hammond video, which I will link down below, that I posted about a week ago I think it was, that case is such a, just a gripping case, but it isn't known about in the media. Not a lot of people speak about it and when I searched YouTube, a lot of YouTubers hadn't done it, which is fine. I'm not giving them, you know, jip just for not doing it. But I decided, right, I'm going to get that case out there. And that's what I plan to do with my channel. I plan to talk about cases that are just not well known to try and get those stories out there. And hopefully one day someone might see something and it just may solve the case. You just never know. So the next one on my list is the Zodiac Killer. Attorney Melvin Bella, accompanied by police and newsmen, waited 45 minutes today to keep a rendezvous with San Francisco's Zodiac Killer of five persons. The man who made the appointment never showed up. The meeting was arranged this morning when a caller, identifying himself as Sam, reached Bella on a KGO-TV talk show. He said he was the Zodiac Killer and needed help. Here's how it looked and sounded. I killed a kid. No. One, I wouldn't do this because it's popular and that's probably going to come up a lot on my list. But two, I don't think I'd be able to do this case justice. 
No, I've not been doing true crime videos for a very long time because of the high amount of information and all the research needed and obviously a lot of my time's taken up with my son. I don't think I could physically sit down and get every single piece of information and I would need that to do the case justice and to do the victims justice. So I don't really feel comfortable in just getting up and filming that video because if I do decide to do that video I want to know that my whole heart and my whole head has been put into that case which when I do the smaller cases and the less known cases it's easier because there isn't as much information there isn't hasn't been as much released so it's easier to compile that case together and get every little bit of information but with a case like the Zodiac Killer that is just so so big I just don't think I'd be able to do it justice so that is why I wouldn't cover the Zodiac Killer. So the next case on my list is one case that I have been just obsessed with. I have researched this case to a T. I have watched everything about all documentaries about this case and that is the Pizza Bomber case. We got him out of the car and cuffed him. I start hearing a beat. His eyes just got real wide. So the Pizza Bomber case has totally taken me in and the first time that I heard about this case was when I watched Evil Genius on Netflix. Everybody who's into true crime has probably watched that documentary. I apologise about the noise that you're hearing right now in the background, the bath is running. I'm sorry, everybody's a little crazy in the house at the minute but I'm going to keep on going. So yeah, the Pizza Bomber case totally drawed me in but it's really, really popular and Netflix have covered it really, really well so in my mind that's made me decide not to do the case. As much as I'm obsessed on this case, I, the whole popularity thing again has just made me decide not to. And like I said before, that will be a big factor in my list because like I've said, I feel like I'm repeating myself, I'm so sorry. Do you know what, we'll just get on to the next one. So the next one is Jack the Ripper. <laughs> The Ripper, a name that conjures fear, the most famous, the most iconic serial killer in history. Yours truly, Jack the Ripper. Now Jack the Ripper is a really, really interesting case, but it, but it has been covered literally thousands of times on YouTube. It's been covered thousands of times on like Netflix, on Amazon Prime, on TV. It's such a well-known case. This is like literally one of the cases that you learn about in school. This is one of the cases you're taught about in school when you're doing history. It's one of the most famous cases I'd say in English history. You know, that's my opinion. Don't come at me if you don't believe that. But that's what I believe. I believe it's one of the most famous cases in English history. So everybody knows about Jack the Ripper. And if people are interested in listening to the full story, there's plenty youtube videos and podcasts out there already so again that has made me think that i don't want to cover it on my channel because other people have just done it so well already and i don't want to seem like i'm just copying other true crime youtubers i want to keep my content 100 percent original when it comes to my true crime videos and i know that possibly can't be done all the time because there's always somebody who's talked about a case but I do try my best to keep the cases that I talk about less famous and still really interesting. So the last one on my list is Charles Manson. Is Charlie Manson crazy? Well, whatever that means, sure, he's crazy as mad as a hatter. What difference does it make? You know, a long time ago being crazy meant something. Nowadays everybody's crazy. Now this is a really interesting case. It's so, so like interesting to hear all the little bits about it. But the same as the Jack the Ripper, I suppose this is a really, really big story that's famous in American history. And everybody knows about this case. And it's almost like it's just there in your brain. You sort of already know about it. Like Jack the Ripper, you already know who Jack the Ripper is before you even go and look into it on the internet. It's just like it's, it's there. It's like common knowledge. You're taught that anyway, I suppose. And... Again, Netflix, Amazon Prime, 
all podcast YouTubers, everybody's covered this case. It's sort of the same seat as being in with the Jack, Rip Jack the Ripper case. And like I said, I just want to cover videos on my channel that aren't as popular and that aren't as out there. So yeah, that is my list. I know it's only a short list, I do have more, but maybe we'll do a part two, let me know. So yeah, that is all for this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.